Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Melissa. Welcome. Today we're talking about all the top fashion trends for spring 2024. We're talking colors, we're talking silhouettes, corp core, bags, shoes, you name it. We've got it all in this video. Let's get into it. Obviously, there's a lot more than just 10 fashion trends for this spring 2024 season. However, I've doubled down, chose the trends that I think will be more exclusive to all body types and people of all shapes and sizes and also the trends that i'm most looking forward to so with that being said let's get into the very first one which is my tried and true bread and butter trend and i love that it is getting so much hype it is the corp core or powerhouse styling trend i work in corporate america i have a nine to five which i don't even know why we call it nine to five because i'm pretty sure everyone i know it's eight to five but that's besides the point of this video. Corp Core is matching suits. It is trousers. It is button down collared shirts. It is that corporate business attire. And I, I think my Corp Core leans a little differently than what we've seen on the runways here. Um, my Corp Core is a little more casual, a little more Corp Core meets athleisure. I love a sneaker and a trouser moment. That is one of my favorite things. And in the opposite, I love a blazer and jean moment for the office. I work in the AEC industry, so my Corp Core is a little bit more casual. But I also love this for streetwear. Wearing trainers and trousers and a nice top or just trainers, trousers, a tee, and a collar jacket to go grab coffee with my girlfriend, like that is my go-to look i absolutely love everything about corp core i'll put some of my favorite pieces down below of corp core for you guys so you can kind of see what there is out there on the market right now but corp core is probably my number one trend for spring 2024. okay so before we get into the rest of the kind of like key element trends i wanted to talk about colors and silhouettes so color trends we are seeing three main colors obviously neutrals are always big they're always going to be big but as far as colors go, we're seeing a ton of yellows in the store. We're seeing a ton of icy blues and a ton of burgundies. That burgundy is kind of streaming from that candy apple red. But it's also kind of a surprising trend for spring 2024 because we're so used to seeing burgundy in the fall. So to now see it trickle into spring is really exciting. I, for one, have always been a neutrals girly, but a neutrals girly with a pop of green or red have always been my go-to. Um, burgundy hats. I just got this really cute hat from Harley Davidson. I absolutely love it. It says Harley on it, but it's kind of in the Harvard font. So I love that. Um, we're also seeing burgundies in these cute little shoulder bags, burgundies in your shoes, which we will talk about colorful shoes in another section. Um, but yes, yellows, it's very much so giving how to lose a guy in 10 days. And then those icy blues, which is also something we kind of more see in winter, but now it's trickled into spring and more of an icy blue pastel moment. So definitely keep your eye out for those three colors. Netflix talk about silhouettes. There are three key silhouettes I'm seeing everywhere. The first one I actually have on today, and that is the boat neck style um, of top, which is essentially where the neckline of your top kind of mimics the underneath of a boat, hence boat neck top. Um, I invested in some very high quality tank tops from Anin Bang last year that were boat neck, and I absolutely love them. And I wish I could link them down below for you guys, but she has sold out and they are not looking like they're going to become a staple on her website unfortunately which is just mind-blowing to me because they are so amazing a boat neck in general whether a tank top long sleeve sweater like how i have on today or a dress the boat neck to me is one of the most flattering collar cuts on any woman like it is just it is elegant has a touch of femininity it's just soft it gives soft genuine and just, I, I don't know, I just, I am obsessed with boat necks. So I highly recommend, I definitely think they're capsule wardrobe appropriate. So if that is your vibe, if you are more so wanting to invest in a trend, but also have it be kind of capsule wardrobe, anything boat neck, I think is just 10, 10 recommend. Another silhouette we are seeing everywhere. We've seen it on the runway. It is in all the stores. A-line. A-line dresses are big. A-line is also very flattering on all body types so i'm really excited that this the boat neck trend is coming back and it's not that it was ever out of style it's just come to the forefront a lot more and same with a-line um i think a-line did get a little 
not so trendy there for a little while, but it is back. It is another one of those things where if you find just a basic A-line black dress, keep that in your closet forever, especially if you feel good with it. Uh, again, fashion isn't, I'm not here to tell you what to wear. I'm here to encourage you to try new things um, and inspire you to create new outfits. So if something resonates with you and next year someone gets on YouTube and says, hey, that's out, but it still makes you feel good, keep it, rock it do what's true to you okay the next silhouette that i'm not entirely excited about is peplum and i'm not talking about 2012 sorority girl bubble necklace peplum what was that pattern that zebra yeah. zigzag pattern chevron that's not what i'm talking about i'm not talking chevron peplum bubble necklace um i'm talking more 2024 elevated but minimized peplum like a like a little sprinkle of peplum. We've seen it in a bunch of tops, so we're starting to see it in dresses. So peplum is slowly starting to come back, but it's been updated. She's gone in for a facelift and she's come out stunning. So you will be seeing peplum silhouettes everywhere. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is a 110% capsule wardrobe appropriate, but it is a statement belt. I know I've been asked a few times to do a belt haul on this channel and I promise it is coming. I just wanted to get this out on the very first day of spring, which by the way, I don't think I said, happy first day of spring. Um, but statement belts, of course, let's stick to our, our three main belts, which are skinny, medium, and wide belts you should have at least one of all of those but we're also seeing metal belts come into play here um animal printed belts belts with really chunky metal detailing on them i think a belt is the easiest way to dress up your outfit and so i am 110 percent behind this trend i absolutely love this you guys know i love my belts i love luxury belts but there's also some really great high street belts you can get out on the market and there's also some really great um inspired luxury belts out on the market as well so you can really have fun with a lot of them uh, one of my favorite brands that is high street and gives that high luxury feel is the below the belt brand as you see in this shot right here i have the zebra below the belt branded belt wow that was a tongue twister i have the zebra belt from below the belt on in this shot right here and i absolutely love it it just really brings this black and white outfit to life another thing i want to mention that i i have my little notes here that isn't a part of the 10 but i it's it goes along with that statement belt is there is a ton of statement jewelry going on right now the big chunky bangles are coming back into play you're going to see all of your big revolve girls wearing those big chunky 80s vibe jewelry um and it's by big and chunky i don't mean it has to be going to the shoulder but like big embellished um studs i have these vintage earrings from my grandma that i literally see an exact replica of on revolve i'll show you guys here um they are so stunning but there's a ton of those type of style earrings going on right now and then of course the teardrop bottega looking earrings are very big still and then the pendant necklaces so statement belts and statement jewelry is huge for spring 2024 and i think we're going to see it leading all through summer and probably up until fall continuing with statement accessories we are moving away from the little mini petite do you remember when these bitches were out here with their tiny little bags that just put a lip gloss in it no 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 we're gone that is that is gone out with those days and then with the big hobo bags the hobo bags are back i love this i call this my mary poppin bags i got mine from anthropology it is inspired by the bottega quilted bag um and then of course we're still seeing the mini jodies everywhere but the large jody is absolutely stunning if i could afford the real thing i would have gotten it but this is giving the same exact vibe for a fraction of the price and i call it my mary poppins bag because i kid you not I will be in a room full of strangers and someone will ask for the most random thing and i promise you it isn't that bad because i can literally carry my whole life in it so i love that but i also think this kind of foreshadows that corp core power styling right because instead of us wearing around briefcases we're carrying around these big bags and there's also now these high street bag makers they're now coming out with these big top handle bags or shoulder bags that also double as a corporate bag. So we're 
I think this trend is here to stay at least until 2025. Okay, this next one, I've watched a couple of trend videos here on YouTube and everyone seems to focus on one over the other. And I'm just going to say it, skirts, skirts, baby. Skirts are in, skirts are here. I've heard people talk about minis, maxis. It's, it's the year of the skirt. It is the year of the skirt. We saw it start to happen last year as the denim skirt came into play. Denim skirts are still here. They're still hanging around. They're still our girl. But now the pleated skirt has entered the chat. But not just the pleated skirt, the pencil skirt. And then leaning on that hot pants trend that I am probably not going to touch on because it's just not a trend for me. Although I will say a trend later on that we will talk about is sheer layering. I am loving the hot pants with a sheer skirt over. I just think that is so chic. I... I just love everything about that look. Hot pants, not for me, but hot pants with sheer layering, yes. Brings me back to my point, skirts. The micro skirt is in the maxi denim skirt. The denim skirt is my true love. I absolutely love that. Um, pleated skirts are also very feminine, very beautiful, and could be worn in a corp core way as well. And alongside that pleated skirt, even more so corp core, is the pencil skirt. This is so stunning so chic you could really dress this up for the office but you could really dress it up for happy hours with your girlfriends or a date night or something like that it is just so versatile and so chic and it really embodies that powerhouse dressing which really powerhouse dressing is really just comes down to like making you feel powerful like you have on that outfit and you will rock that presentation at work you will rock that first date you will feel a 10 out of 10 when even when you're just sitting with your girlfriends like doing your thing that is what powerhouse dressing is and i really think the pencil skirt kind of plays into that but yes it is the year of the skirt ladies so make sure you have yours get your skirts get your multiple forms of skirts skirts are here for 2024 and they are that girl okay next is going to be kind of a twofold because i would like to do a second spring trend video on shoes alone because there are some very key trends we're seeing the first one being platforms platform flip-flops which kind of started with last year the row put out this flip-flop that is a platform flip-flop and now it is trickled down to the mainstream retailers i actually got a pair that look very similar that i got off amazon that i will link down below for you guys and they are actually very comfortable very cute very chic and kind of add like a spicy little edge to your outfits but alongside those platform flip-flops the year before that we had the platform heels remember those giant iconic versace heels i loved those all my friends made fun of me for it but i loved those i actually got a pair loved them they all call me a hooker but whatever i love them and then we saw them trickle into the flip-flop and now this year it is the platform sneaker i am dying my number one wish list item right now is the selena platform sneakers which look like this i absolutely love them i think they are so cute and then of course you have the gazelles right and then that kind of leads into my next point colorful sneakers um you will be seeing colorful sneakers colorful sneakers sneakers or any type of colorful shoe is a great way to add a kind of pop of color to your outfit so this is kind of twofold platform shoes are huge and then also colorful sneakers but i don't want to keep talking about shoes because i want to save that for another video so let's move on to the next one okay this next one i actually really love and i think you can go a multitude directions with this trend you can go corp core you could go sporty you could go ballet girl core um, and that is the cardigan i absolutely love this outfit cocktail cardigan basic top underneath button the top two top buttons, put on a belt and put on some wide leg jeans and you are ready to go. I think it's so cute, so feminine, so put together, but that also leans into, there is a ton of collarless jackets that we are seeing in retailers right now. I have this one on in this photo um, from Amazon and I am obsessed with it. I am about to actually order it in a second color because I just love it so much and it just really elevates and makes you look cool and like you know what you're doing as far as trends go for your outfit so i could not make this video without mentioning cardigans i literally just bought like three new cardigans in gray cream and in another color and last year i got a red cardigan before i even really knew red was coming into play so snaps to me for that i guess um, and then the collarless jackets. I mentioned collarless tweed jackets um, in one of my Abercrombie Try On videos. And now we're kind of seeing this collarless bomber jacket really being um, 
a staple into the spring 2024 wardrobe. Okay, so another big trend that I actually also don't have on my notebook, but I've mentioned a lot in this video already, and that is wide leg trousers, wide leg jeans. The wide leg is back. I know everyone was really upset when everyone was saying skinny jeans were out, but I hope you did not throw those skinny jeans away because the boots over the jeans is going to be a trend for fall 2024. I am telling you, it is going to be here. We saw at the tail end of this past fall winter, we saw more celebrities, more top influencers, more Revolve girlies wearing their jeans tucked into their boots. And the best way to get that is going to be with skinny jeans. So do not throw away your skinny jeans. Keep those but make sure you have a wide pair of jeans, wide pair of trousers. If you guys are interested on where I get my favorite ones, I can make an entire video dedicated to that. But yes, wide leg jeans, wide leg trousers, they are in for 2024. And I think we'll see them trickle into summer 2024 as well. Okay, and then moving on, last but not least, we have sheer layering. This is another one of those trends where we saw it slowly trickle out towards the end of winter, moving into that spring transitional period, layering in tops. Going back to that hot pants with the sheer layering skirts, I absolutely love the way this looks. Hot pants on their own are not for me, but when I saw this on the runway, the hot pants with the sheer layered skirt over, I almost toppled over my my chair. Like it's just, it's so chic. I absolutely love this. But sheer layering is in the sheer layering of the dresses, the tops, the skirts. It is here and it's honestly pretty stunning in my opinion and adds a lot of depth to the outfit. Of course, there is so much more than just what I have mentioned in this video. You have the rosette detailing, which is huge. The 80s inspired accessories, which we've touched on a little bit. Um, the hot pants, which were mentioned in this video. Sheer layering, cuffing, all those details will be here for spring 2024 and then of course the white dress but i feel like those are all things you guys have already heard and talked about and so i really want to make sure in this video i hit on high level trends trends that i'm going to be participating in trends that i think are very exclusive as far as women of all shapes and sizes um, at the end of the day as much as i am body positive i know there are certain trends that because of my body type keep me from participating in that and it's no hard feelings to the trend um it's just a realistic thing for me you know and so i really want to make sure that this was an exclusive spring 2024 trend video and i hope you guys picked up a lot of tips let me know which trend you're most looking forward to and stay tuned for the spring shoe trend bye and i will see you in the next video please do not forget to hit like and subscribe I am loving this little community we are building together and I am so thankful for each and every one of you. See you in the next video.